Meanwhile, Communist China may be deploying an advanced new ballistic missile designed to specifically destroy U.S. aircraft carriers in one strike. U.S. Navy officials are reportedly very concerned about the so-called kill weapon. Even much more dangerous than the North Korean launch, according to the U.S. Naval Institute, an Annapolis-based think tank, is a new anti-ship ballistic missile developed by China that could strike U.S. aircraft carriers from a range of more than 1,200 miles. Experts say it's a blend of ballistic missile with honing capabilities like a cruise missile and a speed of Mach 10. No one else has this weapon right now. This is new. This is, it takes an integration of, of sensors to look down and see you, and then it takes the weapon to get into the area, which is the ballistic, and then it takes a reception system that allows it to make a target. So it's all of this coming together, and folks have not seen that before, and that's what makes it new and potentially very worrisome for U.S. Navy. <laughs> Satellite image, China has sunk your battleship. The People's Liberation Army has successfully sunk the United States aircraft carrier, according to a satellite photo provided by Google Earth. Though the strike was merely a war game, the carrier a mock-up platform and the sinking occurred on dry land in a remote part of western China. Satellite images revealed two large craters on a 200-meter-long white platform in the Gobi Desert used to simulate the flight deck of an aircraft carrier. The photo was first posted on Sabats, an internet forum based in Argentina. Military analysts believed that the craters would have been created by China's DF-21D anti-ship missile, dubbed the Carrier Killer. While claiming that the missile has the capability to hit aircraft carriers 2,000 kilometers away, the Global Times stated that the weapon was only designed for self-defense.